Hey everybody, it's Pastor. Good morning on Wednesday and glad that you can tune into the video here. I have a couple quick announcements that I want to give to you uh, of some things kind of going forward, what we're going to do for our church. Uh, they just issued a stay-at-home order yesterday at 1 o'clock. And so as I was kind of working all day yesterday afternoon, thinking, praying, counseling, trying to get, uh, you know, talk to other preachers about the right decision going forward for our church and what we need to do. So these are some decisions that I have made going forward that I think that we need to comply with. And a couple things about, you know, what they've asked us to do, you know, that I want to give you what we're going to do going forward. But first of all, you know, when we comply with these things, it's because, uh, you know, God has instituted our government for a reason. Uh, God has God has given us our leaders and those people that are our leaders here in Sedgwick County that made the decision, the Sedgwick County Commissioners, the Board of Health Directors, and people like that. They are truly people like you and I, some of them that go to, I know, that go to independent fundamental Baptist churches that love the Lord, that are just trying to, you know, do what's right and protect the people. And so uh, we need to comply and be uh, submissive to that because Romans chapter 12 teaches us that God is not anti-government. In fact, quite the opposite. God is pro-government. Uh, God is not pro some of the decisions the government makes, and they're going to answer to God for some of those things. But God is pro-government. God is the one that sets up, and God is the one that puts down. In fact, I read yesterday in Psalms that David said, Promotion cometh not from the east, the west, or the south. Promotion cometh from above. And that nobody is in authority because, unless God allows that. And they will answer for the authority that God gives to them. Okay, But when they use their authority in a biblical bounds, that we are to comply with that as a church. And many preachers across the nation uh, agree with this uh, aspect of complying with what they've asked us to do regarding the coronavirus. And I think that it is a, a, a big deal. Amen. And the coronavirus is a big deal. Uh, I have some family in Colorado Springs that have contracted the virus. Uh, and it is a big deal that we need to be cautious of and we need to comply with what they've asked us to do. Now, I'm working with them trying to change some of these things going forward so I can see maybe if we can uh, do some different things uh, that would still comply with what they've asked us to do. But as of right now, this is what we're going to be doing going forward until further notice, okay? So first of all, for church, amen, our church uh, services are going to be live stream only. We're not going to have any in-person services. Our, our services are not canceled because we're still going to have service, but we won't have in-person services. You won't be able to come to the church here under the stay-at-home order, uh, but we are going to have live stream options. So tune into the YouTube page uh, for Amazing Grace Baptist Church. We'll have it set up five minutes before we um, seven o'clock tonight. Seven o'clock. We'll have it set up at six fifty-five, where you can tune in, and then we will have our services uh, live stream that you can tune in and watch. And that'll be that way going forward, unless I give you a different, uh, uh, if I give you a, another announcement saying that we're going to change that because the ban was lifted or they give us an exemption, which I'm trying to work with. Pray for me as I try to do that. I'm trying to get an exemption to show them that we can apply with social distancing and uh, see if that will be something that we can get approved. Okay. And then activities, all the activities are postponed. Okay. So that means scripture collating. Uh, uh, all of the Singspiration this Sunday, all of those different activities, uh, our church cleaning day on Saturday, all of that stuff is postponed right now because the stay-at-home order uh, 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 prohibits that. So that's what we're going to abide by, and we're going to be a good testimony and do that as a church. Amen? And so all those are postponed, and the church is, the church is live stream only. Okay. What we are going to keep up with is we are going to keep up with soul winning because we can still comply with what they've asked us to do. Uh, they've asked in the stay-at-home order that you not, you know, it, that you not go out, uh, you know, to uh, congregate in ten or more and things like that. But you can still go outside. You can take your family out. You can go for walks. You can go to the park. You can exercise and do those things. But just apply social distancing when you do them. So I think that what we can do and comply with what they've asked us to do is go soul winning. Where we come here to the church, we won't congregate in, in, ten or, in groups of 10 or more, uh, and we'll uh, get uh, going out, so winning, amen, we'll be outside, we're not going to stay in big groups, we're going to go in family units together uh, and apply social distancing between each family unit, so it, when you come, we're going to go as a family, so winning, amen, so I'm going to send families with family, if you're by yourself, you're single, some of our single men, amen, you'll just, you can go by yourself, uh, or maybe we'll pair up some of the single, uh, single uh, young people together where that you still apply social distancing when you go. 
and those kinds of things, but we're going to comply with what they've asked us to do. But in doing that, I think that we can continue soul winning because we're going to be outside. We're not going to be congregating. We're going to be social distant and all of those things there that I think that we can do and it be, uh, you know, comply with what they've asked us to do. So we're going to keep that up for right now. What we're going to do is we're going to have soul winning on, at 10 o'clock on Saturday. We won't have our Sunday soul winning because normally we go soul winning on Sunday afternoon and then we stay here for church and all of that. And so we're just going to keep our Sunday morning or Saturday morning at 10 o'clock soul winning. So come out Saturday morning as a family and let's go out. We'll give the gospel for our, for that 45 minutes to an hour there and go door to door. Amen. And people don't have to answer the door. They, we can leave the track in the door, but I believe that we can give the gospel, maintain that social distance that they've asked us to do and still be able to give the gospel effectively to people. I think that that's possible. And that's what we're going to do. Amen. Then a third option here, text to give. I'm going to put up a video as soon as I'm done with this about texting to give if you uh, because we're not going to be able to be here for in-person services for the time being so this is a new option and I'm going to put up a video about how to do that here in just a moment but you can text to give to the church and uh, that way you still have the opportunity to give because can I plead with you as a pastor don't forget the Lord because you need God's blessings this isn't about uh, money for me I'm not trying to you know uh, you know uh, you know get money more and all of this stuff I want you to continue to honor the Lord because Matthew 6 633 but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you God promises to continue to bless you even in during times of crisis like this when you honor him okay so you still need to give to the Lord amen and then also what you're doing is you're not only keeping the blessings of God upon your home but you're continually continuing to support your church so your church can go forward amen and that's what we do together as a church we support our church everybody with what they can do honoring the Lord so the church goes forward and God blesses us amen so this is an opportunity for you to still be able to give to the Lord and you and God can uh, continue to bless you through your tithes and offerings that because God gives you an income amen lots of people are losing their jobs and God has still blessed you with an income you still need to honor him for allowing you to still have that income even during times like this. And I'm thankful. I don't think I've heard of anybody in our church right now that's lost their job. Uh, that's that's God's blessings, amen. And so you honor the Lord by still giving, and then that helps to still keep your church moving forward, amen, past during even a time of crisis, amen. So let's continue to give. So text to give is now another option. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free to do through the church. All it is is you're using your phone and you're texting to give. And, uh, and then I'm going to put the details here up in just a moment. Amen. So these are just some things going forward. Uh, last thing I forgot to add on here. If you need anything, okay, as a church, uh, you call, call for needs. If you need something and you don't have a way to get it, maybe there's something that you need and you can't find it. Uh, or maybe you need some help. Maybe maybe you're older and you need your lawn mowed. Maybe you need uh, uh, some trees trimmed or you know whatever that it is. Let me know. And as a pastor and as a church, what our job is to do is work together as brothers and sisters in Christ to meet the needs of our other brothers and sisters in Christ. And we can't always do what everything that we can do, but most importantly, what we can do is we can pray. Amen. And but we need to know those needs that we can pray about. And if somebody is able to meet that need, then uh, I can let them know and they can say, hey, pastor, you know, I can meet that need. I can help uh, in that area. Amen. So call. The first thing I would do is call your family. Amen. There's no family member, I think, that would not be willing or try to help meet the need of their other family. I know for any child to know that my mom and dad need help with something, I want to be the one to be able to help them. I want to give back to my parents what they've given to me. So call your family first, and I'm not trying to take the place of your physical family that God has blessed you with. Call them if they if they can help meet that need. Uh, let them do so, amen. Let your family know. Family wants to know your needs. They want to be able to give back to you, okay? But if your family cannot meet that need, and you maybe you don't have family that can help, or maybe you don't have uh, any family in this area or something of that nature, uh, that, that there's nothing that can be done, then call your spiritual family here at Amazing Grace Baptist Church and let me know, and we want to help going forward and see what we can do for you, okay? So let me know if there's anything that I can do for you as a pastor in this time. Uh, pray for me as I still work with our county commissioners trying to get an exemption for church so we can still come and have church. Uh, but again, I think that this is uh, a good thing to comply with. Uh, as a pastor, I've thought about it, prayed about it, counseled about it, looked at what other preachers are doing, and uh, not that that makes my decisions, but other men of God that are 
uh, that I consider better than I am as a pastor and wiser than I am, uh, they all agree with this compliance right now with what they're asking us to do. And so I think that we can do that and be, uh, and, and, and be submissive as God would have us to be. I think that that is the right thing to do. Uh, going forward. Amen. So praise the Lord. I hope that uh, you'll take advantage of these different things here and hope to see maybe get to come soul winning with us. Bring your family. We'll go together as family units and uh, tune into the live stream. If you don't have that capability, let me know. Maybe we can help you get the capability so you can tune into the live stream and the text to give. And there's some more options there. If you can't use the text to give option in the video that I'm going to put up here in just a moment, uh, you will have uh, some other options there that you can use to give to the church besides that. But this is just a new way for you to give to our church. And then call if you need anything. I'm here. We're here to be a blessing too, okay? Love you. Praying for you. Hope that uh, this uh, will uh, subside very quickly. Get to see you soon. Uh, as your pastor, I miss you. And uh, my wife and I, we miss getting to see everybody and getting to love on you as a pastor and family. And so if we can help you in any way, let us know. All right? God bless you.